Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how a wire undergoes heating effect when current is passed through it. But first I'd like to explain what heating effect really is. So you might have seen many applications of heating effect in your surroundings like the electric iron, the electric heater and many more. In some cases and like an electric fan, only a part of the energy is used to rotate its fins and the remaining is expended as heat energy because you see a source has to keep expanding its energy. In the other case, the electric current is purely resistive which means that the configuration of the resistors is only connected to a battery. Hence the source is an so the energy continually gets scattered entirely in the form of heat. This is known as heating effect of the current. Well, let's dive right into it and see what are the materials required for setting up the apparatus. First, take a thin cardboard and pierce two holes in it, like this. The distance between the two holes should be around 3 to 5 centimeters. Now put the screws inside the holes, like this. There goes one, and there goes the other. So the base of the apparatus is made. Now take a long flexible wire and connect its ends to the screw like this. Take the wire and start coiling it around the end of the screw like this. Now do the same thing on the other side. Take the wire and start coiling it around the end of the screw. That's it. Now take a washer and push it down the screw. Then take a nut bolt and also bring it to the end of the screw like this. This might take some time. This is to secure the wire to the end of the screw, so make sure it's tight enough. Do the same thing on the other side. Take a washer, push it down and then take the nut bolt and also bring it to the end of the screw. Take a 34 SWG wire, it's quite thin and can be found easily and start coiling it around the top of the screw like this. It might as well break but there's no need to worry. Do the same thing here as well. Here we go. Take a long flexible wire and connect its free end to the battery. I actually have the whole battery set right here. You can also use a 12 volt battery if you want. Yeah, so I've put all the 1.5 batteries in the set and only one of them is remaining. Now when I put this in, then it's gonna get pretty heated in here. I'm not sure if you can see this, but there's also a little smoke coming out of the wire. Now you want to be sure not to touch this 34SWG wire because if you do then you just end up burning your finger just like I did. Now 
when the batteries are taken out and not put in and I take this piece of plastic and put it on the rod then it does not pierce no matter how hard you press it so let's see what happens when the rod is burning hot now to show you how hot the wire really is I'm gonna take this piece of plastic which is not torn from anywhere and put it on the SWG wire which is like really hot right now so this is what happens the wire is so hot that it really melts the plastic and pierces right through it see like this well let's use the apparatus we just made to get a better understanding of heating effect so in this case the current flows through the batteries into the wire and all the way into both the ends of the wires and into the screws so the current passes through the screws and into the wire and get it all heated up this is how heating fact takes place well hopefully you know the points and if i didn't well sorry thank you all for watching hope you liked it and I'm Asta Sain, a student of class 10G, and this is Pikachu.